guys, Don Christopher here, um, project manager on Lancaster FM 212 restoration. We're coming up to two months now without working on our on our favorite airplane, and uh, it's starting to hurt, <laughs> to say the least. Um, I've been on the project uh, for almost eight and a half years now. Started in January of 2012, and. Uh, the way I got going on it was I um, I had lost my job previously in the fall of uh, the year before 2011 and uh, looking for something to do and of course I knew the Lancaster was here in Windsor uh, I kind of thought sometime down the road I'd probably work on it when I retired and suddenly I was retired against my will <clears throat> and I was uh, actually visiting my father in Wallaceburg we went to the uh, Wallsburg Legion for a couple of pops with the, his veteran buddies and uh, sitting across the table from my dad and, and a friend of his came in and sat down at the end of the table right between us and my dad introduced me and his name was Sam Dunseith and uh, he said Don, Sam was a tail gunner on Lancasters in World War II, was shot down over France. And, and I immediately started pumping him with questions because I've always been a, a World War II nut ever since I was a little boy. And uh, he really didn't give me a lot of information, but <clears throat> he did tell me that the serial number of his, his Lancaster, uh, LM-178 and Squadron, which was 300 Squadron, and uh, just piqued my interest enough that as soon as I got home, I wanted to find out more about it and started doing some research and found out the whole story and it was a very very poignant story uh, they were on their 18th mission <clears throat> and uh, on a mission to Stuttgart July 25th 26th uh, 1944 and they were attacked by a German night fighter Sam was the tail gunner and he was uh, slightly wounded and his tail turret disabled and the aircraft's uh, starboard inboard engine was set on fire and their pilot Bill Robinson gave the order to bail out and uh, unfortunately only three of them got out alive and all three of them just by sheer luck more than anything um, <clears throat> and when I found out this story and it really got me thinking I guess about the sacrifices these guys made in World War II to protect our freedoms and uh, it really made me want to get to be part of it and to try and give something back so that's really how I got going on the project and uh, <clears throat> over the last eight years the the team has pretty much completely changed other than myself and and Roger D um, who was there before me and uh, I gotta say I <laughs> I really miss miss working on the project miss working with the guys we got a great team it's a lot of fun and I can't imagine doing anything else now that I've been doing it for, for this long so uh, I'm hoping we can get back soon uh, I'm hoping you are all staying safe. Uh, I miss you guys. Uh, look, really looking forward to getting back and working on the plane with you, and just the the fun we have working on the plane after we're done working on the plane, uh, our debriefings, um, all of that. So you all take care, and uh, hopefully we'll hear more from the rest of you about this when we can put something nice together for our our members on, the, on our Facebook page. So take care. <laughs>